Just a thought. So my second question is why, why all I've been seeing these videos all over the place. Why are these women, um, going to the gym wearing, um, almost nothing <laughs> and then get upset when a man either say something to them or about them. I, I really would like to know, I'll show you a few things that's going on with that. I'm not going to go extreme on that. Um, so suppose supposedly it's called Jim, Jim Crips or Crippers or something like that. But there's a whole bunch of them doing that. It's kind of out of control. Um, and my thought is if you, um, if you don't want men to look at you, why do you dress in a way to get attention from men then? I don't think, I don't think a lot of women understand this. It's not a science. It's not that difficult to understand. Men naturally is attracted to skin. Oftentimes we judge a woman with our eyes. A woman will do this. They will look at emotion primarily, but we go for physical. The first thing we look at is physicality. It's just the way it is. So if a girl doesn't want attention from the gym, I will give you a word of advice. Stop wearing clothes that are causing you to get attention. I don't think it's that difficult. For example, and listen to this girl. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Wow, that is pathetic. Like you, you, go, you go to the gym and give men this kind of attitude. Um, and this is all over the place. This is all over the place. It's a thing. It's a thing. Um, and I don't know why they're doing that because to me, go to the gym and work out <laughs> and that's it. If a man looks at you, so what he looks at you, maybe you are beautiful to look at. Maybe he thinks you are attractive. Maybe some of men are creepers. I'm sorry. You can't escape it. Maybe if you don't dress the way you do, those men will might leave you alone. It's a possibility. Sometimes, even if you dress as normal as you can, some men still going to look at you. But I thought that's what the ladies wanted though. I'm not justifying either the man here in any sense, but I thought, but I'm like, I thought that's what they wanted though. It's very sad because it seems to me that these women are either lacking in purpose or they are out of touch with reality. Now, here is another one that really troubled me. This man got in trouble for looking at a girl at the gym. Would you believe me? The man is blind. <laughs> he still got in trouble. Now, take a listen to this. In light of this huge TikTok trend going around recently of women catching creeps staring at them in the gym, I came across a very unique case of gym sexual harassment. Check this one out. I'm blind. If you know what those two words mean, you are much smarter than the girl who was screaming at me at the gym. Let me explain. I'm standing there doing a tricep pushdown exercise, and since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this woman's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at! Huh? I didn't come here to be stared at! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care, stop staring at me! Huh? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and explain to this guy as well, I'm blind, I wasn't staring at anybody. 
He says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at them. <laughs> now, as you see there, lads, it doesn't matter if you're blind, you're still a pervert. You could gouge your eyes out or stare at a wall whilst doing your sets. There's no getting away from the false accusations. <laughs> Alright, somebody in the chat, you said snarky, what are you saying? Alright, let me see if I can read your comment. Sounds like a man's problem, not a woman's problem. Well, it is partially a man's problem, but it's not just men's problem, though. Like, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like, men who are consistently looking at women and they can't control themselves, I'm not justifying them. But at the same time, if you dress certain way as a girl, right? Like you have to understand the science and the psychology that goes behind that. Most men naturally are attracted to the flesh. We are attracted to physicality. It's just the way it is. That's why when a man is speaking a woman, he oftentimes doesn't look at character. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. When like, if I love a girl, the first thing that I see is the girl. Before I talk about the way she is as a person, her character, that's secondary. So unfortunately, men naturally judge based on the physicality of a woman, her beauty. Have you ever heard people said your beauty is your glory? So the way the woman looks will automatically demand attention from men. That's something she can't avoid because that's one of the first ways she communicates to men. That doesn't mean men should be creeping and doing some, you know, weird stuff. I'm not saying that's okay, but to, uh, to, to dress certain way and not expect to get attention from men to dress in a very provocative attention grabbing way and react when you get the attention from men is kind of like, that's a backward way of thinking because by the way you dress naturally, you demand attention. Even when you don't dress in a very provocative way, some men naturally will want to give you attention. It's just the way it is. It's just the way of the world. There's no way to escape it. That's why it's always best as a woman to dress up in a way that doesn't um, appeal. Uh, and I'm saying, I'm, I don't know. It's kind of hard because as a Christian, I tend to preach this. A lot of time, the way men view a woman has a lot to do with the way the woman presents herself. It doesn't necessarily mean that's true in all cases, but it's true in many cases. Like a lot of time, a man will look at a girl, he will make a judgment just on the way she looks. Um, but there are some women who dresses certain way as well. That changes everything. But I know when you go to the gym, it's a different environment. Well, not, I'm not saying you should be going there <laughs> wearing baggy clothes and stuff like that. But all I'm saying is if you go to the gym dressing a certain way, you just cannot avoid the attention. It's just not going to happen. He's almost like a man who's with, with abs and muscles and everything, and he's wearing his cut out t-shirt and everything at the gym. He's going to get women attention too. It's just the way it is. If he's starting to make YouTube, TikTok videos, calling out these women as being, I guess, perverts or something, he's going to sound ridiculous because he's like, bro, like you go to the gym looking like extra cut six packs everywhere. What do you think is going to happen? And this is why, when you read the Bible, it always tells you to dress in a way that professes godliness, to dress in a way that doesn't grab attention. I go to the gym. I'm very mindful of that. I don't wear tight shirts at the gym and I'm a man. <laughs> I do not. I wear long sleeves or I wear a, a long sweater over my, like for me, I don't want to be giving women any attention that should be given only to my wife. That's my way of thinking about it. So, even my wife herself, she goes to the gym, she wears these longer shirts, even though she wears those tights, but she put on longer shirts where her bottom is covered. She does this intentionally because men naturally will want to say something, do something, or even think something. So there are things you can do to manipulate the situation so that you don't become one of those. But it seems like these young ladies, though, they want the attention, but when they get it, they use it in a way to get clicks online. That's kind of what I see here. That's my thought and perspective on that. And again, I'm not justifying men in any way. I'm simply saying the thinking is not very balanced. Um, 
we're okay. It's good to have you here. That's not to say that there's no woman that seek men's attention, but it's more about wanting to fit in with other women. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to avoid it as a girl. I'm just saying, you can dress in the most professional way. <laughs> Some men still going to do it. You can put on your church outfit. <laughs> you're still going to get attention from men. Uh, you know, what's going to happen, the creeps might go away. You might get a gentleman, you know what I'm saying? But you're still going to get attention because remember, as a girl, your beauty is your glory. That's one of the loudest expression of yourself. Unfortunately, I think a lot of girls today either don't know that or they forget about that. I think they do know. <laughs> I think they do know. I think they're just playing games. It's just the way it is. So what do you want men to do? I love this video. Just go to the gym and do this. <gasps> That's how we work out at the gym nowadays. Chivalry is dead and women killed it. Because <laughs> men are now terrified to even ask if you're using a machine or not. Best thing you can do, boys, is don't even make any eye contact. Get your workout on and go home. Crime free. Even if there's a beard asking for the spot, this is the last thing you want to do. Uh oh. Ouch. You see, that's that's how extreme things can, things can get. And I think, you know, these TikTok videos, they're not going to work in women's best interest here. And I think if a man is looking at you in a weird way at the gym, it's okay to ask him, what are you looking at? What do you want? It's not wrong. You don't do this in an aggressive way, but it's okay to ask the question if you feel like a man is doing this to you. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> Making these videos and making men look bad and stupid like a creeper and so on like that. This is a perfect example of how men tends to react. They start val devaluing women and it's not good. Every time you see either men is attacking women or women are attacking men in a way that is not done in a, in a proper way, it always spill over into something worse. So what's going to happen in many cases with these videos, very few women are going to get attention from men very few women is like videos like that will make men to be like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care how great you look. I'm not going to look at you <laughs> because before I know it, you're going to put me online calling me a creeper and so on. And it's not about that. <laughs> and unfortunately, some men think a lot of us as men, we think some girls are, are beautiful. We think bodily, facial, everything. We think that's beautiful. And sometimes we look at that doesn't necessarily mean the man wants to be with you, wants to sleep with you. Sometimes that is attractive to the man. So to quickly say he's a creeper, he wants to do this and that and that to you. That's not really true because you don't know the man's heart. Now, there are some men who are thinking in that way. Uh, I think there's a lot of men who do think that way. But you still don't know who they are. <laughs> so this is one of those things you got to be very careful with. This is going to spill into something crazy. Wow. Imagine if you would have went up behind her and got your crotch all up on her ass. You'd be all over TikTok and she'd be saying something completely different in this video. I can see it now. I just needed help. And this creep came over and grinded all over me. What am I time living in where everyone's just after a little bit of clout? Of course we all are. Even I am to a certain extent. Yeah. But I'm not doing it at other innocent people's expenses. Absolute plant pot behaviour this. Thank you for all the love on the channel, boys, and a few ladies out there. You upload seven days a week. I do many different types of videos. Yeah, that's the point. He made a good point here. So what exactly do you ladies want? I mean, you want care, love, protection. But at the same time, you can't not. It, they doing it wrong. At least these young girls are doing it wrong. <laughs> this is not. This is not how to do it. Um, much more will be said about that. And um, I'm going to share something with you because some of you were saying that it sounds like it's a main problem. Mm. 
uh, you're not paying attention if you say if you think that it's not just a main problem both 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 are in the wrong both are in the wrong here um okay let me put a little bit of song here okay yeah, yeah, that's it. Janice, you just gotta ignore them. That's what my wife does. She's she just ignore them and keep working out. You're just not gonna avoid it. I mean, I try to do things not to get the attention either as a man, but be true to yourself and that's it. Move on. So I think for them to go and put this stuff online and make a whole big deal about it is you're gonna turn this into something worse than what it is. Yeah. Here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna, let me find this text here. Oh, there we go. Here, look at this guys. Yeah, it says in like manner, also the woman. The women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Now you need to take a look at what that word means right there. Homework for you. What is modest apparel? It's modesty. That's where you get the word modesty from. Not sexy apparel. That's biblical things for you. And again, you know, the Bible is so clear on some of these things. Oftentimes our culture, we just don't listen. Even Christians sometimes. We just play we play around with God's word. And then when we get in trouble, we're like, oh man, what's going on here? He tells you, modest apparel. So go study the word modesty, what modesty look like. Just go online, type modesty. Go on Google, type modesty. See what that looks like, what comes up. Now, we shame fitness. Uh, we shame fissedness and sobriety, not broaded hair, gold pearls, and costly array. Now, there's a whole historical side of this. These are women that used to dress up in ways that were very distractive and disturbing to the church. So Paul is telling Timothy to warn these women not to wear things in their hair that will get too much attention becomes a distraction during the church service primarily. But you can make an application to that here as well, but I'm not going to touch your hair. I'll leave that matter alone. That's between you and the Lord. It says with women professing godliness with good works so there's much more that could be said so go read first Timothy chapter 2 it, it tells you how women should be dressing up and things like that and the same is true for men and I think a lot of time men at the gym dress certain way that are not good either I, I've seen men with with tights with these yoga pants and stuff I, I don't understand how men put on yoga pants but that's a thing now but not me <laughs> and even those muscle shirts and everything where all your arms are popping out and everything i don't think that's a good thing so because women are, are looking at that too it's not a good thing i think there has to be balance in both from both angles and i think um both sexes are messing up here from this point forward so here's the thing i wanted to share